Now, are you in the market for a knockout exercise routine? Want to get in fighting shape? Brent is here with a boxing workout. I love boxing. Boxing is one of my favorite all-time uh, things to incorporate into my exercise routine and do with clients. And one of the number of reasons is it it's a great way to get in shape. If you look at boxers, I mean, they're some of the most fit athletes in the world. Uh, not just aesthetically looking, but also just your conditioning, your strength. Um, you know, focusing on improving your cardiovascular endurance, your muscular endurance, core strength and stability, uh, hand-eye coordination. Um, plus, it's exhilarating. You know, we release those endorphins, those feel-good hormones that just keep you going. And it's a great stress relief. You know, it's, it's a way of building self-confidence and empowering. So there's just, the list goes on and on. But one thing important, just, you know, from an injury standpoint and just to learn the technique, there's six sort of key moves that I think are foundational for boxing. Uh, and they go through from one through six, so they're actually numbered one through six, a common numbering system. And the first one, I'll go through all of them just really quickly here. First one is your jab, so it's your lead hand. If I'm, if I'm, right, I'm right handed, so I got my left leg forward, right hand back, my jab is going to be my lead hand, my left hand. So I'm just literally going to punch and pull back. And again, you always want to keep the hands up, protect those teeth, right? Expensive dentist trip if you get hit back. But again, <laughs> boxing just is not about, be, you know, you don't have to be sparring. You don't have to hit anybody. You don't have to hit anything. Shadow boxing in your own uh, apartment or house is a great way to stay fit. Uh, so number two, we're going to go into the cross. Okay, so now I'm using my dominant hand. If you notice my feet here, I'm actually pivoting. It's a lot of hips and core, by the way. It's not just shoulders. Uh, you know, a common misconception from a beginner boxer is just using the arm. But you got to use that core. That's where your power comes from. Number three is going to be your lead hook. So now we're going to come around just like you're hugging a tree, okay? So that arm comes up and back. And again, you'll notice the hip does that work. I'm pivoting on that front foot a little bit with each punch. Number four is going to be my dominant side. So now my rear hook, same idea. I'm coming right through and pulling back to that position. And then five and six are our uppercuts. So lead uppercut, you want to get under and up. So again, it's a push of the hips up and right through. The arm is the finisher. It's not about doing this, right? So again, core and hips. And then finally, number six, coming right through, same thing. Up and use that pivot on the ball of your foot. So those are the six key foundational moves. Okay, I yeah. love it. Okay, so now we have the punches down. Um, we're ready for the workout. What do we do first? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's get it going here. So again, this is a boxer hit circuit. We're using boxing and infusing it into a fitness routine. It's not all about just, you know, the boxing part of it. But the first thing is a combo. So I want to go into that one, two, three, four. So we talked about that. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Right, use the hips. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Okay. And again, these would be done for 30 seconds to a minute. Focusing on, a, if you look in a mirror and do it, it's much more effective because then you can watch your technique and kind of perfect, uh, you know, perfect it as you go through. So 30 to 60 seconds on that, then we go into number two. I like to add a little conditioning always, as you know, Tracy. So we're gonna go into a shuffle, okay? So I'm gonna have my same stance, so my dominant stance. I'm gonna step, shuffle, step back. Now we're actually switching your dominant hand. So now I'm gonna go jab, cross, jab, cross, shuffle back, now I'm stepping left leg back, jab, cross, jab, cross. It's always that first front hand that's gonna punch first, okay? Got it. So it's just a shuffle there and back. Again, six, 60 seconds, 30 seconds to 60 seconds is going to get your heart rate up. Uh, number three is called a punch out push up. This can be done on the ground, it can be done on your knees, or I'll do it on an <laughs> incline here. So oh, you're on your own for this one, buddy. Core nice and tight. We're going we're gonna to drop right down here. Yeah. You're not going to join me on this? I'll come try. on now. <laughs> okay, so go come for up it. and punch across. Okay. Punch across. Okay. Right, so again, now we're working a lot more shoulder stability, working your chest, your triceps, your shoulders, and your core, okay? Obviously, it's harder if you're on the ground, if you want to increase that uh, difficulty a little bit. Uh, I got another one for you. Okay. Again, back to more conditioning. By the way, light weights for any of these is another way to elevate the intensity. Even a couple soup cans if you're at home. Don't go too heavy. You know, two to three pounds, maybe five if you're pretty strong, because you exhaust the shoulders by having weights in the hands. This is the Muhammad Ali shuffle. So. On the ball of your feet, core tight, and we're going back and forth. Nice, quick pace, holding those weights up. And again, 30 to 60 seconds, and you'll get that heart rate up pretty quickly. 30 to 60 seconds, two to three rounds of this, and you get a nice blast by doing that. And again, focus on that, you know, releasing those endorphins, uh, focusing on that power, getting your energy up, and most importantly, keeping moving. Oh my gosh, I feel very cool right now, but I probably look way less cool than I think. <laughs> Thank you.